another visitor. Stay a while. Stay for Hello, this is Normal 69 and this is from the Devs Easy Campaign. And here is a battle I would like to show you how I'm spending my time. So here they are, a Prowler, a Red Tuna, something something, which I up, maybe an Atlas. A sledge, a scuttle gun, and lots of stingers. So, and we have my little thingies, Gubasto, which, which are uh, missile and uh, torpedo shooting silos. And of course, they have containers for fuel and energy and ammo, so they can radiate around if there is a fleet above them. <coughs> ammo depots are simple things, just containing an AI and ammo, so they boost uh, anything inside this range, more or less, with ammo, because every each of them are on resource group one. So they nice and share. And we have here spitter toads, which are underwater anti-torpedo missile and flag gun shooters. And the funny little radar is just a wooden uh, raft with an AI and a radar on it just for sharing the data with all the others so they could aim better. It usually gets this destroyed. <coughs> what we have here, we have the harsh burger, which I use in more uh, uh, little less crowded fights. It is a long range uh, advanced cannon and uh, particle cannon robot and the curious cat which is a really fast radar satellite with four missiles for self-defense it's something uh, hooks up on it so I will try to make this battle looking good and these little things are arranged like, arranged like this ammo depots in the middle so they could help with ammo and they are near to each other because they have repair tentacles so they repair each other hopefully we have uh, less material around here because I traveled with my big ratatoa to here so we have a lot of materials here and soon another huge unit of mine will be spawned in because I love attack weak opponents with overwhelming force like I love unnecessary amounts of Daka. So we need M and hopefully we could wait for them to reach combat distance. No, I don't think so. So F11 <coughs> and let's see how it goes. Please be a little quicker, more quicker, yep, you are here, yes I would like, yes I would like, yes I would like, I would like to do everything which I can do. So we are the people who will fight with you, you, you and you, and hopefully there won't be like because the enemy won't sport any huge unit, and I think it's uh, balanced, of course. <laughs> but no, <coughs> but they are a lot, and uh, they have infinite uh, amount of materials, so I think it balances out nicely. So no, I don't want to my resource collector and fuel maker tiny base to spawn in, not the Hasburger, and no for the curious cat biggest battle size and begin oh yeah and these are just uh, resources containing zero or five they are the remains of a previous uh, martyr attack try 
<coughs> so where is my bot? Because this place isn't good enough for me. Oh! Let's go somewhere else, maybe here. Just pause. Go to the out of view. Oh! I love this size. So these little ones are coming from the hospitators. What are you doing? Not spawned in. I must repair this thing. Okay. And just for looking nice. And, and what happened with my flag? I am all questions today. This is my flag. Yes, like here. Okay, the depots. It really cheap heavy armor plating. <coughs> and these are the horizontal started anti-missiles. And these are the vertical started anti-enemy missiles and torpedoes. We have some unconnected uh, buoy holders here, but there is one radar buoy holder which is connected to missile, so we can see what's above, of course. And let's see the collection of the enemies. Here are some missile. I think they are missile planes. I hope they are not torpedo. Yes, they are torpedo planes, so we will have some work and maybe some damage too. What we have here? shooting a lot of missiles oh wow it's a really nice looking dvg boat and of course the king of the kings dretna they are already fighting each other which is good for us i'm just looking around to see what else we have here hmm. maybe the other dvg units won't spawn in till we kill them so, what kind of torpedo situation we have here? I read that the torpedo guns... No. No incoming torps. So, if you... I, I just read if you put a weapon control and then the anti-missile controller to a turret. But no, we are 100% sure for south and they are incoming sorry but I'm curious what will happen and hits and no the anti uh, torpedo controller doesn't have precedence above the weapon controller yet and they will fix the <coughs> harpoons and that would be very very good oh hopefully after the first volley we won't have so much enemies like this but it's falling into the water who are you, little guy? You are the Stinger MK2. Maybe a flak got it down. I don't know. There are explosions and the planes went over and attacking the DVG ship, which is good for us. And there are some incoming flak damage. Okay, I think this ship will die definitely. Because there is no chance it will kill this myriad flyers with cramps while I'm shooting at the bottom of it. And thank you for the fog and rain. Of course, every people watching this just love fog and rain. 
maybe Englishmen more and Highlanders. Because there is no good big bagpipe music without any rain. And it's already too damaged, poor guy. Maybe food doesn't handle itself really well against flak. Let's see the bottom of it. My EMP is incoming. Yes, that should be one of the torps. Or the flak gun. And what's happening with us? We are still good. So, terrain most definitely can be used against enemies. It's better than shields. Oh yes, it's an atlas. And we are shooting at it instead of the torpedoes. Good, no. And who we are here? Oh, just uh, planes fallen into the sea, I think so. Or not? Or yes. Okay, you don't have any fuel left, maybe, because there are the jets. So, and as you can see, it's a bit laggy. So you can imagine why I haven't put up this kind of fights. And better ones. This is the Red Tuna. Still alive and kicking. It's sad that it couldn't make its anti-air gun higher, but what are you shooting at? The clouds? Maybe its detection got damaged a lot. And with a little luck, you will ram your mother. The big one. And that was two damage previously. Maybe not the big ship, and Krems going away. No time fuse is there. So they are the easy faction, the nice looking faction. And I'm flacking the wrong guy. The AI of my unit needs to be corrected. How do you say it? Uh, Death by a thousand cuts. That's it. Oh. I think one of my torps arrived. Sadly, no hits with the cramps. Maybe we should teach these guns to lead shots. Only the cramps, of course. Not the advanced cannons. Oh, and you are in the valley just to shoot better at the sky. No, at this unit here. So it's a proof of concept and a proof that the enemies attack each other. And I love that. My sneaky tactics works. And it's almost the same in the case of a big unit, because the summed up firepower of a unit in a battle, I think it's the same, <coughs> because these targets are harder to hit, a near miss there, if those shells contain time fuses, that plane would be dead, definitely. And how are we? My miss, I say, are going for the big one, of course. And does my little... Oh, and my little radar is unhurt. I just extended the range of this missiles because, you know... If they are further away, I cannot damage them and I have to travel somehow or stop the battle. 
Oh, the prowler is really bad, and here is a scuttle gun which I'm firing at. So let's go over there. Oh, and you are not flying so much now. And look at the scuttle gun, which should be south. And the weather suddenly changes. So how are you doing, little one? We have shots for everybody. Oh, you are already too damaged. I was late. But we removed your big gun. Flak is good. And this tiny viney thing is undamaged. I think it's a sledge. Yeah, it's a tiny rammer. Won't do you any good if you will close the distance with it. And no other weapons. Oh no! Here are some nasty torpedoes. And you just received some. Take it as a present. And you can see that these missiles don't contain any magnets or torpedoes because that way they would be pulled over and hit instead of missing. So maybe I need to change that. Just to boost up their turning a bit. They try to lead. Oh, and this was my flag, I think. I just waited for so long. Good. Do you still live? Yes. Cannot move. If you would be alone, I would capture you. You are just pointing your guns everywhere. And these explosions so far away from the body actually hurt it. And you are shooting at planes. With cramps, of course. And we have insane amount of salvage. No, of course. Because our circle is smaller than that. Here is the big battle around this big enemy ship. Which is called the Prowler. I like this ship. Ships are really OP in this game, as you can see. What a nice ram you have here. Only rams or maybe something nastier, maybe a fixed cram cannon, no. I think you lost all your energy here. Yes, it's the remains of an engine. I think I can accept the Price for the damaged bottom. We are like to shoot at the enemy. What happens here? You are just disappearing? Or oh, you are the anti torpedo torpedoes? Oh, and maybe we hit a missile. I don't know where those frags came. Oh, from the missiles, yeah. You don't feeling well. I'm just surprised that these ammo haven't blown off. Maybe I don't really understand the flag damage. 
really well. So do we have enemy flyers? Yeah, we have some. They are shooting missiles. Maybe some are shooting missiles and some torpedoes. Yes, these are definitely looking like the movement of missiles. They are really short range. Oh, and damaged in enemy territory. So it's good for us, but I don't like it. And I don't like the 80% and sinking death too. Oh, and here is the Atlas getting EMP'd. Oh! It was a really interesting movement. I think it was a torpedo of mine. You were just rectangularly exploding. Like this. So we are slowly but surely eating away any enemies which move above my little Bermuda Triangle I've made here. Are those enemy torpedoes? Yes, I think so. And I think this ship is dying. There is a stinger in the water, I think so. <coughs> yes, it just fell apart. Oh, and you are in the water too. Take a nice dip. It's good for me. What is that little green thingy on you? Dock holder maybe, I don't think so. Oh, or yes, they are spin, mount, spin block mounted things. And I think you lost your little ion drives. No, it is on the front. Why can't you raise about the water run? Yes, the flock is continually removing all the balance you have. Maybe just stop for a moment with the missiles. Like this. So no more missiles and torpedoes for a time. Oh, it felt really bad for you, I think. Where are the enemies? You are here, nosing in the water. And there is another one flying? No. There is an AI dead one. So can we observe the effect of the flag on this lonely thing? Which is the last remaining one. No, it got a torp. And a lot of torp misses. Those are just the anti torpedo torpedoes. And here are two of them closing in on my units. Can we defeat? No. Yes. Okay, so no torpedo can reach me now. And maybe I don't detect this unit, because no flag shots are incoming. Okay. I think everything is loaded now, so just give it a big volley of the real ones. almost raised itself out of the water. 
Yes, my missiles are coming in high. Yes, more and more EMP and this and that. Thank you. So, that's what I'm doing in these days in FTD. And uh, missing missiles just turning back for more. Okay, we have all this on so we can pull all. And with the uh, harsh marker maybe? Yeah, it's quick enough. Just collect the resources. Why not? We have the time, we have the capabilities. My enemies gave me these things as a gift. So just collecting all the good things we can have. You too. And please attack me more. I'm not afraid. And you are moving like this. Why? Moving out. Moving so out. that's all for today, folks. Have a nice time. Play after D, spread the word. And uh, have a nice night. It was normal 69. Like, comment, and I don't think sharing is important.